hi everyone welcome to cloud medicine and this short video i just wanted to share something that happened with me yesterday so what happened friends i was tracking a uh, lot of interviews yesterday and uh, uh, perhaps at about 9 pm night so that was my uh, possibly 15th interview for the day i was taking an interview for a guy who has around 13 years of experience in it and then his relevant years around 12 years in dotnet technology azure and microservices so during the interview uh, he was uh, not very good i would say he was kind of average but since he was senior and i was uh, thinking it is quite possible that uh, nitty gritties or the found fundamental dot and fundamentals or azure stuff it is may not be possible for him to recall and uh, since he is like you know senior so i was not even given a small piece of code to write or some query I didn't ask because at this point 13 years we normally ask scenario based question or some question which which are related to direct work not like in a theoretical question but uh, while taking the interview I was also having an impression that that guy uh, when he is talking uh, the answer is coming slight delay there is a delay between his answer and his lip so I have seen like say seven or ten times but later i thought like it is quite possible that there might be an internet glitch or inter there is a lack of uh, internet connectivity in his head that's what it is uh, causing issue so uh, after the interview uh, i have given uh, like the feedback I was, I was skeptical i was supposed to write that like you know but since i thought like okay let's uh, let it be uh, po possibly uh, at 13 years of experience guys he will possibly don't uh, do some uh, faulty stuff right so on the good faith i have given his feedback and i've uh, taken this guy because he's kind of uh, average or slightly better than average and he told some of the uh, areas from microservices and then uh, things are how he have deployed in docker container and how he have orchestrated that was the need for the interview and after just submitting the feedback i uh, within half an hour i just uh, got an email from uh, my client saying they are like you know it's a incorrect selection and rejection you can see in the screen you selected a proxy candidate candidate is only shrinking the lips always rectify such cases with the coordinator before giving to the final verdict so the candidate like my doubt was right i mean i not i'm not sure whether they are uh, they are like uh, have a automated process by which they are getting or they have some manual process to check that i don't know uh, but they have within half an hour they uh, got realized that it is a like fake candidate he is a proxy candidate someone behind him basically possibly wearing the actual headphone and where he was wearing a headphone um, like you know he what he did basically he put his uh, headphone mic just before his sleep so that i cannot see his sleep properly so that is a uh, like you know catch that he did and then uh, the other guy possibly he is behind the laptop screen and he is answering all of my questions so <clears throat> i mean that uh, i mean this is happened with me first time and i was totally upset uh, like because we are always having a good faith that at least people are uh, at this experience they are doing some cheating while having the online interviews it's not at all good so uh, when my fine like final like word for these people i mean if you, you just seen the client name so it started with ceo you can possibly understand the guess the name the company like usmnc if you fail if some, suppose that candidate he will join as a uh, manager or the technical lead or senior technical lead what two things can happen the first thing if he can uh, somehow manage to survive then what he will do he will just you know uh, mess up with all his like you know junior workers he will blame all his junior worker just to safeguard his uh, like you know stuff because he is not much eligible so he faked i mean he possibly like you know he don't know anything related to technology and he is going for a techn technical role so whatever their subordinates junior people they will be blamed from this kind of supervisor or manager and there's one more chance uh, if and if uh, he you know put into a uh, individual contributor role though it's a 13 years so it is quite possible that he needs to you know uh, work for a individual contributor 
this type of companies say all mncs they have a like you know six month of probations and they will even it's not about six months even if he is not a, like able to perform within two or three months straight away they will release from the project and even next project if you if, if you can't perform then they will terminate the project within even six months so my request for anyone would be like you know do not do some cheating even uh, if you are not a technical guy choose some other track choose maybe if you can go some other agile or any other track scum master kind of stuff but do not cheat the cheat during the uh, like you know interview it you, like if you have a, already have a job why to cheat and why to like take more job and then risk yourself and risk others also so that is a small like videos i hope it will be helpful for you if you are interviewer do uh, careful because this uh, like you know these uh, times we need to take the interviews on online and it will also being an interviewer it is also like uh, hamper your reputation and if you hire a candidate who is a proxy candidate it will be dangerous for your organization as well thank you guys